way we're looking. If you jump on crystals twice, they disappear. And as you can see, you can only have uh, three at a time. This one, I believe since it looks like this, means that there could be a trap in it. Like that. Uh, that brings you back from the dead when you die or something. There are enemies down here, so... Yeah, I know what's gonna happen. I should probably be fighting these things, though this would be my normal thing to do, especially since... Um, You can only go to certain areas. Oh, these spikes. They're not like Mario where you die instantly, but they'll slowly drain your health. Okay, where's the freaking boat? Hi. Freaking A, Lennon. Ah! Ah! I tried to be cool and it didn't work. Obviously. Come on, boot. 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 Fucking A. I'm sure there's something important over here with the boat. This is a book of spells. Book of spells? Yes. It is a book written about the research done on certain magic spells. You can learn new spells by reading this book. In this world, there are many books to be found where ways of fighting and other things are described in addition to books about magic. From these writings, you can acquire knowledge on matters that you could not have have obtained otherwise from the experience of battle. Yeah, whatever. You can only one person can learn from book of spells. Actually, there's absolutely nothing else in here.
can see as we go on, their capacity goes up, so they can learn more just by battles. We want to learn counter. And we want to level this up. Lame, you can't switch between characters? Yes. Oh, one important thing is you always have to remember to set up. But we just learned counter attack. I guess it's not a skill. It's just a thing that you can do. She's in the back, so she doesn't really need to learn counter. Okay. Thing for her. Um, you saw we got. I guess it's not. Um, this is a really good weapon. And it's, it does, um,. Yeah, it allows her to do great magic, so when you saw that she was doing her um, soul break or whatever it's called, uh, she just did like the same attack that she usually does, but she did a couple extra times. For this, it would do like she'd be able to do way more magic damage, and when she would do that, there'd be a special um, magic scene that would attack like a bunch of things. However, as you can see, it has a 50% chance of breaking. So try not to use it unless you really need it or there's a really tough boss battle coming up. Right now we don't need it, so we're just going to leave that on. I don't know what the Fire Lance is then. What did we... Oh, okay. Fire Lance is... Another magical thingy. I already healed that guy. Okay, so now we go back. So away we came. Go this way. Yeah! I think we can topple this pillar, Lena. Go ahead and try. You can also gain experience points from special actions that do not occur in the course of battle. Those experience points can be saved up in the experience arm and can be freely given out to any of the heroes. Camp screen, spirit source, like party. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Experience orb. See, we have um, 500 things of experience. It tells us over there that after 4,162 things of experience, she'll level up. So I really don't care too much about that right now. Now this is very, very important for when you obtain new characters, because then you can quickly level them up or get them rather close to your level. Or if you need to send someone up to the gods, then they'll be higher level. It's important later on, but right now it would just be a waste to use. I'm failing at this. See that treasure chest? Can you take it? A trap has been set on the treasure chest. There are three main types of traps. There are different ways to avoid different types of traps. You can jump, crouch, or leave. But which one is the best here? 
For the time being, I recommend leaving as quickly as possible. So now we know why they explode, but we already found explosive traps, so... 